Hey everybody and welcome to another edition of Eddie's Toy Box and today we're going to be taking a look at number 245 from the Pop Movies line, Marty McFly on a hoverboard. Um, this pop has been out for a little while now. Um, I believe it was a fun.com exclusive. Um, but we got it because our friends at Pop in a Box sent it to us. So Pop in a Box, thank you so much for our Marty McFly. It arrived. Um, it came from overseas. That's why it has this underground toys exclusive because overseas toy exclusives that are United States exclusives here. Get that sticker. I, I'm sure there's more to it, um, but because I'm here and not there, I don't really know, and I didn't really ever really look into it. But this is Marty McFly on the hoverboard based off of Back to the Future 2. Um, and we kind of have hoverboards now in the year 2016, but they are on wheels and they're like segways and they don't really hover and they blow up so there's that side of the box shows you the concept art which you can see is kind of in a more crouched down stance it's kind of what they went for with the pop except he's kind of more upright but you can kind of see that they, that's what they were going for back of the box shows you the other pops in the series we already have a marty mcfly and a doc brown um, and we have a glow-in-the-dark radiation dark brown, and then we have a pop ride of Marty McFly with a DeLorean. But this is the other exclusive. This was a Loot Crate exclusive, um, I think for November. And that was the Fun.com exclusive. And that was my kid yelling. Um, so these are the two exclusives. Doc Brown, we have it somewhere in our collection here. And Marty McFly. All right, so let's take a look at Marty here. This is the first time I've taken him out of the box, so we'll find out together if this base is removable. So like I said, he's kind of in a stance as if he's riding the hoverboard, but he's not crouched down enough. He's like in a traditional pop pose, but the effect comes off well because of the way he's sculpted with his arms kind of at an angle, like he's trying to balance himself. Again, you know, here's the Marty McFly head. I think it's the same head as it was before because, you know, no sense in re-sculpting it because, you know, the movie takes place immediately after the first one, so nothing with his hair can really change. As far as the paint application goes, it's a lot better. Um, I mean, there's a, a nick right here. You can see it right there. But um, with the way Pops have been lately, with the paint being really hit and really missed, um, a little mark like that isn't a big deal. You can see he's got the coat on over the uh, the burgundy shirt, which is pretty cool. Um, Jeans-wise, there's his pants. I think those are the pockets coming out. Um, and I know, are these the uh, the futuristic Nikes that he's wearing? At this point in the movie, he has them, right? Yeah, because he doesn't he get them right away. Um, so that's pretty cool that the sculpt of the Nikes is there. You can see right there where the jeans go in and the tongue of the shoe comes up. Um, palms down because again he's balancing. You can see there's uh, missing paint on the, you know, the the sleeve of the the coat, but that's not that bad. The hoverboard design is just like it is in the um the movie, with the you know the very 80s colors, the, the yellows, the neon greens, the pink, the white. Um, Loot Crate actually had a hoverboard when um when they had the dark brown, and you can see a video for that on this channel. Let's see. Let's go. Nope. That don't come out. Or it does and I'm not. Oh! It's not supposed to come out. So now we're going to have to glue it back. But Yeah, it's not supposed to come out. So for those of you watching at home, this is why we do these things. But it pops right back in. And then, you know, we'll use some epoxy glue to put it back together. So it doesn't come out. Don't take it out. If you have it, this is uh, inbox collectors. This is why you guys sometimes have it better off because us out of box collectors, we like to experiment. Um, but it's not supposed to come off. But look, you can see there's a triangle there. Not supposed to come off. Don't take it off. But look, you see the bottom of the board. With it. That must be what makes it hover in the movie, right? And there you go. Marty McFly. I believe it's a fun.com exclusive, but again, I got it from Pop in a Box. You can check out Pop in a Box now. They've just launched, well, a couple months ago, they launched their U U.S. site, popinabox. I think it's U.S. 
because I think the other one is popinabox.uk, which is where they originated, but they're in the United States now. Basically what it is, it's a subscription box, but it's not like Loot Crate. It's not like Marvel Collector Core. It's not like um, Nerd Block, whatever it is. Basically, you go on Pop in a Box, you put in your entire collection, and then you click off pops that you don't have, and you click them off whether you want them or you don't want them. If you don't want them, you won't get them, but if you want them, they'll send you a mystery pop, and I think they have different tiers. So you can get one pop a month, two pops, three pops, four pops, five pops, as many pops as you want, I think. I could be wrong, I, I but there is a number of pops you can get on popinabox.com, and what they'll do is they'll take a look at your list of all your wants, and they'll send you those pops based off of what you subscribe for. One pops, two pops, threes. So if you say you want three pops a month, they'll send you three pops that you want from your list a month. And it could actually be an exclusive. Um, case in point, Marty McFly. Um, and they did send me a couple of maters to give away on Facebook of the uh, the blue Dynaco mater. Well, not Dynaco, the Mater how he was originally before he got all rusty. So they do have exclusives, and you do have a chance to get an exclusive, be it a new one or a harder-to-find one. Uh, it's a random pop they send you based off of your wants list. So check them out, pop in a box. And if you like the video, give us a like, comment down below, subscribe for more, follow us on Facebook and on Instagram and on Twitter. Uh, Instagram is ESBGO underscore figs, where we are posting pop pictures. Twitter, Facebook, Eddie's Toy Box. Join us on Facebook, popping off about Funko. Call them Thursday nights on popvinyls.com. Be kind to one another. Have a great day. And free the pops. And remember, his base doesn't come off. Right? Right. Okay, let's go. See you guys later.